Hello and welcome to LibTech Tools. I'm Rachel Hendrick, editor and publisher of Choice, and I'm here with Gary Price, editor of Info Docket and ARL Day and Review. And Gary's going to take us through the Save Page Now function from the Internet Archive Wayback Machine and talk a little bit about how to uh, save pages and why it's important. So please go ahead, Gary. Thank you, Rachel. The long term preservation, this, you know, the long term preservation of the Internet of the Web is so vital, in my opinion. It changes all the time. And this, while there are many other web archives that do a great job out there, the Internet Archive, and more specifically, the Wayback Machine is the largest one that I know of, uh, of archive web pages and other material. One feature that often gets by people is the fact that any user for free can archive any web page and other material, meaning PDFs, spreadsheets, 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 in some cases, zip files, some MP3s. You can do all of it on demand using the Save Page Now feature from the Wayback Machine. You can start one of two ways. You can either go to web.archive.org and paste in the URL here. Or, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to www. Uh, LAPL, the Los Angeles Public Library, we'll use that as the example, and save page. Now, it takes that URL and puts it into this interface. Or I could have started by going to web.archive.org slash save. As you can see, the URL is in there. Now, because I'm a registered user of the Internet Archive, and to become a registered user takes about 10 seconds, 20 seconds to go to the site, fill out the form, I'm able to get some additional functions in addition to uh, just archiving the URL I put in there. So I've logged in now. I'm a registered user. And the feature I want to point out is specifically today is Save Outlinks. So what this is going to do right now is going to go to www.lapl.org. And in addition to archiving that, the LA Public Library's homepage, it's going to archive all of the outbound links from the page to wherever they are going. So in essence, you have not only the archive, you not only have an archive version of the URL at this given moment in time, but you've got it at the same time an archive version of every page it links to at the same moment in time. It usually takes about five, well, I shouldn't even give it time. It usually takes a minute or two to archive everything. And as it works, it'll take a second here and it will come back and showing that it's archiving every one of those outbound links. Why do you want to do this? Well, one, for whatever reason, you might want to make sure that a copy of what you saw on the web at any given moment in time is available in perpetuity. And yes, you can, obviously, and you might still also want to make a local copy, but we all know how things, how easy it is for things to disappear on, on your own computer, let alone you moving that computer to another computer, losing the file, your computer crashing. But in addition to that, when you save something to the Wayback Machine, you're also saving it for the community. And while things often do disappear on the internet, we are also now have access to a version of history that was not very easily accessible in the past. And that is the web URL might stay the same, but the content on the actual underlying page changes over time. So the more time a page is archived and re-archived, the better. So as you can see here, it went to LAPL.org and made a copy at this given moment in time. There's the direct link to it. And now it's going through all those outbound links and re-archiving all of those as well. So I urge everybody to, I archive just about everything that I see because there's another tool that I want to point out to you that makes it even easier than even having to go to the website. And that is the Internet Archive toolbar button that you can download from the Chrome website 
or from Firefox. It works for all those for those browsers and others. So let me take another URL and just go to www. Just for the sake of conversation, Microsoft.com. And now instead of having to paste anything, I'll go to the website. I can simply click on the little icon button that's showing on my toolbar. It says Wayback Machine. I click that. Now I can click Save Page Now, and it will automatically make an archive copy for me and grab all the outlinks at the same time. There's a number of features that you can get from the toolbar button or the toolbar tool from the Wayback Machine, if you like. So I encourage all of you to take a look at that as well. But the long, you know, we are now in such a wet, we are in such a time where everything is online and a lot of this material is not archived or re-archived at the volume in, in, in the amount that it should be. So I encourage all of you to take a look at this tool and consider archiving not only things that are relevant for you, but relevant for the entire community on a somewhat regular basis. Yeah, thank you, Gary. That's that's really cool. I love this um, this toolbar tool. I'm going to download download that for Firefox and Chrome on my own machine. Um, right, and, and from and from the toolbar tool, you can get to all sorts of other features. You can actually get back into the Wayback Machine and, and find other versions of the page. Look at the, what they call a site map get word clouds, all that. And then in addition to all of those features, there's also a number of other features. For example, you can you can find out right from the outset how many times the page has been archived. You can archive the 404 versions of that is what will pop up. You can go directly to Wikipedia resources. You can even have it set up in this autosave page that will make a copy of the archive. It will make a copy of the page even without even having to click. If it identifies the page and says that it hasn't been previously archived within 24 hours, let's say, um, it will automatically do it. You don't even need to paste anything. And of course, if you might not want it to archive certain things. You can then put it in the exclude file. So it's that simple. Right, 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 right. Oh, it's so powerful. And the internet yeah. archive is so important. So it's nice to be part of that community to, um, to update it. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you.